back with Dream Theatres on day two of the Miami Boat Show 2018. Yes. And we're on the burger stands with Welcome. Ron Clever. Oh, damn it. I got it right the first time. Ron Cleveringa. Ron Cleveringa. Nice Good to meet to you. Good to see sir. you. Good to see you. <laughs> so, you're holding a boat? I am holding the new Burger 48 Cruiser. Now, when we heard 48, we assumed 48 meters. No, no, no. 48 feet. Feet. So, you're renowned for making. Beautiful, stunning super yachts. Why, 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 what's, what's taking their move smaller? Well, why not, number one. Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? Got a client who wants to, to build a 48 footer, we'll be glad to do it. We're a custom yard, and uh, lo and behold, someone approached me and said, Would you build a 38 footer? I said, Sure, why not? Got into the design process, it grew to 48 feet, and here we are. I tell you what, because essentially it's. A, What's the hull? It's aluminum. All aluminum. Wow. Typical. So essentially, it's it's just a scaled down. It's super it's, it's a mini burger. Exactly. So um, actually, this is probably going to be the best built 48 foot. I can guarantee boat in it. the world. I can guarantee it. This is going to smash a princess. Sm well, clearly you're going to smash an azimuth out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> this will be. It, it, have it'll have the burger quality, the burger traditional construction practices, everything. Built here in the United States. Right in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Why are you guys in Wisconsin? Where in Wisconsin? Why? Been there since 1863. 1863? Right. So, oh, let me put this down. So, Burger is like a um, historical shipbuilding heritage of the United States. Exactly. Uh, the only shipyard that I know of that's older is Hodgson. Hodgson's even older? Yeah, 1814, I believe. Good Lord. It's amazing because you don't really associate America with shipbuilding and its heritage. It seems like it's a very new upstart with Mazar right. and Trinity and Westport and stuff like that. But it goes back hundreds of years. Over 150 years. Virtually in the same location. So who started Burger? A uh, Henry Burger, a German immigrant, came across, decided to start building uh, small fishing sailing vessels. Right. Commercial boats and eventually evolved into some yachts and yachts, commercial vessels, and, and now, here we are today. Good God. Now, you guys, I know you've had some rocky waters of the last 10 years or so. Is that We've actually been quite busy over the last 10 years building commercial vessels. We, we look back to Now, you to see, our this is what we don't hear. Yeah. We just hear in the industry that Burger's not building anything right now, but you diversify. Well, was that a diversification we, or was that? We went, that was a diversification. We went back to our roots again. Kind of like the, 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 the 48, yeah. smaller boats. Uh, we've built several research vessels, several passenger vessels that are used in the Great Lakes. And, and we've also been very busy with refit and repair of both commercial vessels and, and yachts over the last few years. You see, now I, I have a bone to pick with the Dutch. The Dutch and the Germans, because the way that they sell their products is that they're better than Americans. We know Billy quite well from Trinity. Sure. Trinity, Trinity yeah. Days. And it was never about um, America not really having the quality. It was about America had the speed. It, you could build something much quicker because America was built on at a pace. Right. You come to America and it's got that yeah. sort of like... Go, go, go. Go, go, go. You know, we work six days a week. We take, what? Five days holiday <laughs> a year and a good year, and the Italians take a month off. Yeah, yeah exactly. It spells out why the boats get made quicker. But they sort of spin that as like a as a bad quality for America for American boat building, and that always seems it always got yeah. me angry because it's. I don't understand that. I, I, we have quality, innovation, technology. We've got everything right here. Everything. We've got the, the, the quality of craftsmanship around, in, 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 especially in the Midwest. United States is amazing. Yeah, uh, hard, hard-working people, and it, it, they're loyal employees. We have generations of employees who have been with us. Yeah. So, do you, uh, uh, well, how many generations? Like four generations worth of carpenters. We've there? we've had. Well, yeah, we have fourth generation carpenters. We've had three generations working at our facility at the same time, of a family: grandpa, <laughs> dad, and son, in our facility. Uh, wow. Building. It's, it's very cool. So in, where, where the factory is, is it like the town is Burger Town? Everybody it's, works at the shipyard? Or no, it? no, it, it's, it's a, a, a 
a working community. There's a lot of big industry in our, our okay. town. There was uh, Manitowoc Shipbuilding was in our town at one point. They they moved up yeah. to Sturgeon Bay. Um, a lot of good business in in good paying, hard working community. See, I've always maintained. I've only ever lived in Florida. Okay. So the South Florida working work mentality is different. Bad. Let's just let's just leave it at bad. But anybody I've ever employed or worked with who came from the Midwest. Exactly. Trust there, them. There's a work ethic in the Midwest, yeah. and people are, are loyal to where they work. And then mm. we're bur what what we build is something that people want to be involved with. It's it, it's a product that people who who have worked on our boats are proud to be able to pull up a magazine and show my family. I I, I did that. I built that. It's part. different to working in like a car factory because you know ten thousand cars a year or something. Yeah, and I, I put that light in place. Yeah. So my favorite boat in the world, Sakara Four. Mm -hmm. I stayed at the Hilton in Fort Lauderdale. Right. Like, Ten years ago, I think and it was it was it was my boat for a week because it was outside my hotel room. <laughs> the owner was always had breakfast on sure. the back every, on the after deck every morning. But that boat, were you were involved with that one? Oh yeah. So that I mean that is that, that to me that's like the pinnacle of what this industry is. It's st it always has to have that craftsmanship, men working with their hands and women yeah. working with their hands. Yeah, exactly. And that is a direct reflection of what we do. This uh, yeah, one. it's something special, something unique. It's not something you can go to a production builder and get. No. You've got to go to a custom yard, and that's where you get the craftsmanship and the willingness to work with you to build something like that. How long have you worked for Burger? Since 2000, 18 years. 18 years. So how did you get into the industry? 13 years old. I sent a letter to uh, Jack Hargrave, said I wanted to be a naval architect. The guy <laughs> responded, and it was all over. 1984, I started in the industry. Working for Hargrave? I started working at Broward in 1984. Ah, for Kit. Pardon me? For Kit Dennison? Uh, for Kent, uh, Frank Dennison. Frank? I worked for Frank. So Kit? Kit, uh, Kit was Dennison to, Marine. Was it what? Dennison Marine. Dennison, no, so that wasn't Broward? No. Right, okay. And not at that time. It's a, there's a murky history there. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a history. So you're from Lauderdale then? I am from Michigan. So you moved down here to work? I work I've industry. worked down here several times and I've worked up in the, in the north several times. What do you prefer? That's a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> I like both areas. Equally. Truthfully, <laughs> truthfully, I like both areas. This it's, is great from what, October through to... Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Can't beat, you can't beat the Midwest in summer. No. Can't beat. No. Get, it gets warmer there than, it, than here, though, right? You can. Yeah. You can. I've seen it 102 up there. I've only ever been to one place in the Midwest, um, uh, Sturgeon Bay. But, uh, okay. Sturgeon Bay. Johnson. Yeah. When they were there. That's where I keep my boat. Oh, really? So, what, so you build boats and you have a boat. Yes. This is rare. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? What do you have? I have got a 30 foot cruiser, a little express oh, okay. cruiser. I got another great Midwestern boat. Built in uh, Oconto, Wisconsin. Yeah. Right in our own backyard. God. Scary. Yeah. It is scary. <laughs> Blimey. Well, I'm, I'm tickled pink there, actually. Uh, I mean, how, are you going into production with these, or is this like a one-off? The first one sold. We've got a second one under construction. That should be done this summer, and that one's available for sale. And I'm assuming it's not exactly price competitive to a princess. No. But it's not a princess. It's not a princess. It's a burger. It's a burger. So, it's a pleasure to meet you. And, uh, Thanks for your time. Good luck with the, uh, the best built American 48 footer. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Cool. Again, thank, thank you. you sir. I love the Midwest. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why. I probably love it.